Get her started. So, this is our new star. We've recently acquired a Burmese cat. And Samantha goes, she wanted to name him Velvet. I thought maybe Cashmere, but then I thought, what about Horko York? Horko, it's Sausage King of Palandia. Or Busta Kartuglikov, escaped war criminal, yes. See, I don't think he likes his name. No, he likes Busta Kshustakov. And no, he loves it. Oh, he loves it. Busta Kshustakov. Oh, he loves it. Busta Kshustakov. He doesn't like that name. Anyway, this video is about breeding Nihatan, but we're not gonna name the cat Nihatan. <laughs> <laughs> he, I told you. He yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a very loving cat, but he's just kind of camera shy. Because we're letting the cat out of the bag. We only got him yesterday. We offered him a shrimp, but he was intimidated by the shrimp. shrimp. Yes. yes, and he's over there. He likes being pet a lot. Remy's a very emotional type, so you can't call him things like Yerat. Oh, he got scared of Zerat. <laughs> anyway, the video is about breeding Nihatan. Yes. I'm not going to call the cat Nihatan. Just massage him, massage him. Yes. And um, basically, I had to get Garganus yes. and chomp up to level 12 for that. So this is part, let me see, da -da -da. part four. Of the amazing plan. Yes, part four of the amazing plan. Well, you we can't let really. The kitty go. Yes, you're gonna have to let the kitty go. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Why don't you put the camera back on us, and I can hold it so we know it's right there. Ah, yeah, see? Samantha had a really good idea. Kudos to her that we're going to face the camera on ourselves. So that way, we yeah, <laughs> we we both are in it because before sometimes things used to just get fragmented, but it's a little harder to see the list and stuff. I can take pictures and add them in. Yes, we can do that. Anyway, uh, right now this is going to be interesting because <laughs> I'm going to have to show, I'm going into, right, the volcano. This is, well, it's better for facing the video on us, but I'm going to have to, like, go into the volcano <laughs> and collect some macadamia nuts, be that as it may. Um, for the second part of the video, we're going to have to... Um, actually phase the phone. Yes, can you do that? One time, continue. And it's going to be breeding. Yes. I'm sorry, the lineage here. This is... Well, it has its perks. It has its minuses. This is Mihatan right here. He has the fattest scorpion tail of the three dragons. Can you see yourself in there? Uh, sort of. Here, let me do this. Is that better? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> the whole point was to see both of us. Anyway, what I was going to say was how Hesed and uh, Apophet have slightly thinner tails, and I believe how Hesed has one horn less or one horn more. I have to take a look. She's, Apophet has three horns, how Hesed has two horns, and Mihatan, it's hard to tell how many horns he has because there's a little sign above his head saying ready to breed. Breathing. Anyway, yes. So we're going into the cross breeding, and actually he's a very good dragon because he has Radiance, and he has Daybreak. And he has superheated breath. He has to have lots of garlic and heat shield for that. So, the daybreak absorbs solar energy from destroyed buildings. And the super. Wait a second. Ha ha ha. Unlock. Unleash the fury of the sun to transform. Superheated breath just increases the damage you do with your fiery breath. He is a warrior, and the heat shield reduces incoming damage and uh, restore some health. So they're all pretty good spells, yeah. so we're going to cross breeding and... He's a garnet, right? Yes, no, he's not a garnet, he's a sapphire. He's uh -huh. a mythic sapphire and he requires 1,000 fragments uh -huh. and he requires 195,000 eggs, which is a lot. How many eggs do you have? I have 241,000 cool. eggs, so I should be able to, after him, well, I don't think I'm going to get him to level 12, I mm -hmm. think if that's maybe 14 for the for the mythics, I don't know. I have to see. We'll find that out and you know as the video continues. But he requires 1,000 fragments and 195,000 eggs, and I'm figuring if 60,000 eggs takes about, I don't know, 17 to 20 minutes, then 195,000 eggs will be about an hour. So I'm not going to run my mouth for an hour. I know it's disappointing, hard to believe, yes, indeed. And <laughs> Samantha and I will put a pause in the video, and then we'll get to the end of it. Mm -hmm. And right now when you start, basically you go to crossbreeding, 
It's 195,000 eggs. Gosh. And you breed like this. And then you auto breed. Yes. For like ever. Yes, forever. I don't know if you can see this, but so far we have six fragments out of a thousand. Yeah, so this is going to be here for a while. You also get, um, basically you get four platinum eggs in the process. I'm sorry, no, you get two sapphire eggs, which oh. is good. Yes, you get two sapphire eggs. How about that? Two sapphire eggs yes. and two platinum eggs. But at this point, my builder HUD requires four sapphire eggs to upgrade. E. Yep. But and what level? I have to check. I have to check. Yeah, right now I'm a level 206 player, but I've been upgrading my builder hut a lot, along with my storage den, because when the towers, whether electric prongs or mage, red or blue, uh, white or blue, red, or, um, you know, especially the um, ice or fire cannons, they become very, very costly. Yes. And uh, since you only increment the uh, capacity of your storage hut by about 20,000 per increase. Gosh. You know, it will take several storage upgrades for you to be able to have enough wood at any one time to build the next structure. What I have noticed though is as I've upgraded the storage hut is that it stayed constant in about 11 days. Then again, yeah. I did a lot of research, but the amount of time it takes to upgrade, so the speed ups you'll have to spend if you do want to speed things up, will not increase for the storage uh, hut beyond a certain point. Storage hut or builder stock? Build, uh, storage hut, storage hut for the builders hut, they do keep on increasing. <laughs> and um, I was also going to say that um, for the research, it also becomes pretty expensive, unfortunately, because once you get to green eggs, I think the next thing that I have to do for like one second yeah. evasion is 40 green eggs. 40 green eggs, even at the cheapest one, is, you know, 40 times 20. Yeah. You know? We were thinking 8,000 for the yeah. eggs you wanted that day. Yeah, it's, it becomes quite expensive, and when you get to the gold eggs, it even becomes more expensive. And it's not to say necessarily all the research is better, because you have some great stuff in the beginning in red and blue tier, I remember. Yes. Anyway, uh, so right now we're going to put a pause in the video, mm -hmm. because we'll be here for uh, quite a while, because in all the time I've been talking so far, it's done. If you'll take a look, I don't know if you can see. Yes, I can see. I don't know if they can see, but it's so far 84 out of 1,000. Sure. Yeah. We're going to be here for a while? Yeah, we will be here for a while. We so. might interweave some kitties playing. Mm -hmm. Gustav Shustakov. Velvet. Horka York Porkovitz. Istiglia Bartuglico. Zirak. He does not. Zirak. Do you, do you see him jump? He didn't like that. Marmaduke. Oh, that's uh, May... crazy. It's Baraduke. Oh, Blastodon. No. How about this? Bzuk. People, if has you watch the video. How about Hasmuke the kitty? No. If people that A kitty watch... named Hasmuke? The video. Great cat name. Vote in the comments. Hash milk. On the name. Zook. I say velvet was my first choice. Somatron said cashmere. I was like, cashmere's pretty. We could do cashmere. But for those of you who like Bustak Shustakov, Hasmuk Parduklikov, or Horkel York Porkowitz, you two are welcome to that. We just may name, may name the cat that. It's just a lot to put on a tag. It is. And heat scares him. Just yeah. saying. Sometimes. All right. Pause. Go. Hey guys. Well, we're almost halfway into breeding Nihatan over here, and it's taking a lot less time than I thought. I figured it would have taken about an hour mm -hmm. because 64,000 eggs takes like 20 minutes or something close to that, and this is 195,000 eggs, so I thought it was going to like take three times longer than that, hence about an hour. But the interesting thing that I see happening here in the breeding is that one of the eggs is a rare platinum, and I have almost 20, just about 24 is going to be of that. It's upside down, hon, but all right. Ah, 24. And I have, I haven't yet gotten a second legendary platinum egg. But the interesting thing is here, if you'll take a look, just hold the phone quickly to that. You might want to do it right side up or okay. 487 fragments, 488 out of 1,000 are now going into Mihatan, or only 368 and 369 have gone into the legendary sapphires. So here the breedings start being a little uh, wonky, counterintuitive. I mean, yes, most of the mm -hmm. eggs are going into the rare platinum egg, but far less are going into the uh, sapphire, leg uh, sapphire legendaries. 
and more are going into the sapphire mythic, the most mm -hmm. of all next to the rare platinum, and least of all it seems are actually going into the legendary platinum. You figured it'd be the other way, that yeah. the rare platinum would get the most, then the legendary platinum, then the sapphire legendary, then the mythic. No, the mythic one is actually getting the most after the rare platinum, huh? then the sapphire legendaries, then the platinum legendary is getting least of all those eggs are accumulating the least which is very interesting because we normally look at a breeding and say oh if there's a rare or epic, epic or yeah yeah that it's going to eat through the eggs too fast this doesn't seem to be the case yeah the mythic is getting far more fragments because right there it's 531 you know right now it's 532 this is only up to 400 and 500 yeah yeah so the mythic the mythic sapphire is getting far more than the legendary sapphire but like i said the bonus for this breeding is that you get two well you're actually going to wind up getting four Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the yes. time we're finished, we're going to get four bonus sapphire eggs, and I need that because my next upgrade for the Builder Hut is two, uh, four sapphire eggs. I'm finished with the platinums, and I have, well, a shitload of extra platinum eggs. I don't yes. know what I'm going to do with them, except for research, but i got to get through green research and then through gold research, which I haven't done, so yes. go figure. Yeah. Yes, I what just upgraded my research to green is underway right now, so I haven't even started that but the number of research options in green versus the number of eggs you get, it's just, you have to be very, very choosy on that. We might do a video on the research and how to, you know, maximize your eggs. Yeah, but what I would like to say, and goes pointed this out to me, my ignorance, I started playing the game long before her, was don't underestimate the value of the research in red and blue and purple tiers. I don't mm -hmm. remember, is there purple tier? I don't mm -hmm. okay because some of that gives massive upgrades to all your well, mage towers. It could give massive upgrades to your electric prongs later on when you get when yeah. you go through the levels. And it can make significant differences in your base defense even with an identical layout. You wanted to say something? Yeah, the thing um, that I found with the research is that you really should, there's a lot of um, research about upgrading your um, hogs and your uh, lumber mills. I've done some of that, but not all of it. Um, I say the big research to do is there's a top line of research, which is all related to your base. The middle two lines all relate to resource building, and the bottom is the, the yeah. dragons. Yeah. So. Definitely true there. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't so know. we're back to this. Yes, we're back to this because before, when... Uh, Soma suggested that we do a self-pick kind of video. Well, we didn't really know. We Yes, we saw ourselves on it, but we didn't really consider the fact that we can put up the phone to the self-pick video. There's going to be too much glare, so sorry, yeah. guys. I mean, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but anyway, let me focus on Soma. The other thing, that, um, <clears throat> with the new purchase, people really need to be looking at about maybe taking down totem, especially if they're um, over 100. I'm going to be taking down my one totem pole because the perches, if you choose the correct dragon, will not only act as a totem pole, but will also give you um, super shot boost or other attack boost on that island of the base. So on the little island, you can add the first little island, the first perch, upgrade that you can have I have a bond on there which gives my mage towers a super shot and then I also have um, ice resist on there which makes it so that that base does a lot of damage to an ice dragon like uh, Tarant um, and then on the next island I did the very first island I did another sorcerer because the sorcerers do the um, super shot Warriors do one, and then hunters also do one. Hunters actually have more hit power per shot, um, but they don't offer as much. There's research when you can up. Remember the yeah. ammo count from seven shots to nine shots on a hunter. That's very important. Yeah, your hunters will have far more ammo at that point. Yes, and if you put them on the perch with that, that's going to give them even more hit power off of your purchase. And we also found out, well, Ghost saw this on one of Pixel's videos, is if you use two fingers or three fingers, you can actually fire on some hunters. You can fire at two or three structures at once, but it will deplete your ammo much faster. So if you do the research, then you have that option. You'll have more ammo in your dragon, and you'll be able to take out 
the bases with hunters um, easier. Yeah, multiple attacks, but that'll only work for the lower level bases or with a weaker structure because when you have a high level tower, you want to focus yeah. all your firepower on it. Yes, but um, it is a good way to take out a red and a white tower at the same time. Um, I use that right now to take out red and white towers with my hunter. Um, so, there we go. Mm -hmm. Pause. Mm -hmm. This? Yes. Come here. Well, there is Velvet. I think we're going to settle on him. He here, is, he is right by his daddy's here. foot, he's as you can weird see. Hours. He's got weird power, just like Jaquel, the spear goblin. Yes. yes. But he Jaquel does like too. to be close. Look at him. He's mm -hmm. just right there. He's very photogenic, but he oh. just wants to play. He doesn't want to pose for the camera. He doesn't understand the power of cat. No, he doesn't. You know, we just got him yesterday. So he's still a little, not feral, just a little recalcitrant, I guess that's a good word. Yeah, yeah. recalcitrant kitty. Yes. And um, actually the breeding is going quite well. We're up to 932 fragments, 935 now. Huh? And it's going far, far quicker than I thought. I was assuming this was going to take about an hour, but in reality this has taken like, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe? Yeah, yeah. It's interesting because I wouldn't have guessed this, but when you have a huge amount of eggs, somehow it just it winds up not taking that much longer than with about 60 or yeah. 4,000 eggs. It's odd, I know, but be that as it may. And like I said, uh, the, the 1,000 fragment egg for me, Hitan, was the one that was getting far more than the regular sapphire eggs, but I have one of each of those and I thought I was going to get uh, four sapphire eggs but no I'm not I'm only going to get like two whole ones I already got uh, okay. two whole ones and I'm gonna get about one half of one and one half of another but that's okay because once I have Mihatan I can breed I believe a third sapphire legendary and in the process of by the way that's going to be far less than 125,000 from what I understand that's an important point because when you have to breed two legendary sapphires to breed a mythic, once you have the mythic, you can bag breed yet another sapphire for far less than the sapphires cost at 125,000. And another important point, it's far better to get the mythics with eggs, yes. not with fragments. First of all, it's 1,000 fragments if you want to throw fragments in there, and it's 195,000 eggs, so it's just not worth it. It's far better to throw the fragments into the legendaries and you'll save 125,000 eggs. Yes. Okay. Which is what I'll be doing. Yes. Good point. And you'll also get bonus Sapphire eggs here in the process, which are important once you're uh, past Sapphire eggs for upgrading your builder hut. I don't know if a lot of you are there yet, but that time will come for some of you. Um, question. Yes. So are your divines still capped? Yes, my divines are still capped. Breeding a mythic sapphire will not uncap them. You have to breed at least one garnet. Yeah, people. Once you get past gold sphere, you have to breed at least one legendary dragon of that tier. You might still need two legendaries in platinum. I don't know. I bred Vulcan and Kelvin at the same time. They were package deal, great package deal, 64k mm -hmm. eggs. But that deal is over once you hit sapphire. You have to breed them separately. And again, a poffet seems an easier shoe into sapphire because you need Kelvin and Vulcan, and you'll breed Sekum and Anapa. Well, Kelvin and Vulcan will breed Sekum for you, and Kelvin and Chrysos. Anyway, we have that on another yes. sheet of paper. But a poffet is a much easier shoe into sapphire, but I think a poffet is, in my taste, a better dragon. Mia anyway, a better dragon. Huh? Mia Tan is, better... is a better dragon. I'm sorry, did I say yep. poffet, Mia yep. but that's my taste. And we're going to show you some kitty. Yes. Because you can now see how pretty he is. He's a little distracted. Ah, oh, guys, one more thing. Oh. Guess what? Yes. I have to upgrade my incubator. Oh. Otherwise, I cannot hatch a mythic sapphire egg. How about that? So, so what's your incubator at now? My incubator is at level 7. So I have to upgrade it. And it'll take 305,000 lumber. And... I need to go actually get some lumber. Can you pause the video and while I go yes. get the I wasn't recording. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. So, is I it had... recording now? It is recording now. It wasn't recording a second ago. Oops. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, I just threw the wood into the incubator. I 
had to extend my Elite account because it wouldn't have finished by the time the Elite account ran out. And I was buying them month to month. Uh, Ghost told me that it's, well, not probably, definitely better to buy it for the year because it costs $40 and otherwise it's $5 per month, so 60 versus 40 yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I put 18 days speedups into the incubator and now it's ready to hatch the mythic sapphire egg. Yes. I wonder how many days that'll take. Yes. Incubate eggs. Yes. Well, let's see. This is the mythic and it's going to take 25 days to incubate. Yes. Uh, needless to say, I'm not going to wait 25 days. No, we don't wait. No, why don't you press the finger, put your magic paw on the button and you can hatch oh. uh, Mihatan. Can you hatch me right here? Yep. Yeah, my multiple. Oh. Boom shaga la ga la ga boom shaga So there you go. Kind of a chunky fella, isn't he? Yes, he's a snake. He's really a serpent. Yeah, she's really a serpent and he has like little Popeye crab forearms. Look at that. Yes. He has a little Popeye forearm crab crab yes, forearms. Like a little Tyrannosaurus rat. And look at his little legs. legs. Oh, he has little legs too. Yeah, uh -huh. oh, he has little stumpy midget legs. Yep. Yes, yes. Um, the other thing is how many prizes did you get for breeding out this one dragon? Okay, here goes for breeding him out. I had gotten to the 22nd prize. By the way, his uh, ability outright is Heat Shield, Radiance. Yes. And to use that, uh, incinerates any projectiles currently in air and heals a moderate amount. Attack changes to Solar Breath, which deals increased damage. That's one mean most over dragon. That's the power that comes with them outright. Okay. Okay. And... Oh, this is still Radiance. Okay. Oh, this is the second one. Ah, shit. Okay, learn ability. Sorry, guys. Skipped over the second video. This is the superheated breath. Now the sound isn't working. Terrific. Hmm. Which? Yeah. Richie. Three seconds buff causing flamethrower to deal more damage. Any building destroyed while buff is active will grant 2% solar... Uh, double solar energy. Okay, but because we missed the second video, because I foobarred it. Oh, Daybreak! Oh, look, oh. another ability. Daybreak. Active roster full. And who am I going to kick out from my roster? Who are you going to retire? Oh, I think I'm going to retire. I'm going to take out Kaiju because I wanted to get some information on him for the other video, but for now I'll retire him. Yes. And I'm going to swap him out. Actually, well, yeah, in your video we'll talk about his spells a little later on. Yes. And, by the way, Mihatan's starting attack power is 2.47 million. So initially they are far more powerful than the legendary sapphires which start at 950,000. And he is breedable at level 16. Here, show the well, viewers. Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm. So yes, he is breedable at level 16 so the mythics are no longer breedable at 12. 12 yeah so some interesting information and also the uh one that i missed up is radiance i think the video on that learn how to use that i think that was the second time oh no no that was the one we saw flamethrower attack daybreak maybe that's the one i missed Oh, I got them all. Okay, and the superheated breath, I guess. Heat shield is also kind of. Okay, guys. Basically, that's it. So that concludes the last of our breeding. It took me about a 
what, three and a half weeks to do that, Garganas and Champa had given me Mihatan. Again, I wanted to reiterate that I had increased my base level from 156 to 170 something initially to go the path of Mihatan because I had to get Katuthius, mm -hmm. I had to get Kulan, Kaiju, while well, Kelvin I had Quetz, and it's a more difficult path because the one for using Apophit is again, and I hope you're not sick of seeing these papers yet. Kelvin and Vulcan will give you Sekum, so that's a far easier chew into it. Mm -hmm. You need far less of the uh, Platinum Dragons. Yes. And the initial expenditures are less. But again, under the old rules, uh, an apple could be bag bread, and so could Apophis. Oh. You, yes. Record, yeah. So hopefully these videos, I mean, they were broken down into four parts. You know, initially the one, first one was getting Katuthias, Kulan, and Kaiju, mm -hmm. you can see on the paper. The second part was getting Kelvin. Well, Kelvin was the extra egg plus Quetz and Krizan. For part two, Quetz plus Kelvin, Champa plus Kaiju. Kaiju was the secondary extra platinum egg like Kelvin was over here. And then Quetz plus Kaiju, Garganas. Garganas can be a fine dragon substitute for shade mm -hmm. for those of you who never got shade up very high. I'd only gotten it up to green, so at this level of play, she's redundant. And then Garganus and Champ and Mihatan. So basically that's the uh, amount of work you have to do to get yourself a Sapphire Mythic Dragon yes. Warrior. So hopefully that was of some help. And goes to myself. Yes. I'll be making more videos and I was glad to introduce the kitty. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get him we're gonna get him the Popeye crab.